Hey, it's Hunt. You found Hunt on Saints. We're talking black and gold football. Do us a favor. Hit the like button, share your comments below, and hit that subscription button so you can get all of our content. Enjoy. They play the Panthers on Sunday. You're, you're well aware of that. One of the jokes that we generally tell and, and, and talk about on this show is the term must win because it is, oh, it is overused. Everybody loves the term must win. And our guy Sharif Ishak on Tuesdays, I'll toss must win at him, and he'll toss it right back. He's like, Pelicans game in early March. I mean, yeah, must win. You got you got to win this game against the Spurs. Like, well, you probably don't. You probably don't. Like, last night, the Yankees were in a must win, and they didn't. And now their season's over. The Saints on Sunday, it's a must win. Oh, my gosh, Hunt. It's a must win. Really? It's not a must win for their playoff chances. It is a must win because you cannot recover from losing to this pile of garbage that is a franchise. The car the 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 Cardinals. The Cardinals. The, Char- the Panthers. The Panthers. Like you cannot lose this game and come back from this from a stat. If they lose this game on Sunday, they're going to have to be sweeping changes made in the organization. Because it's not just a signal that you weren't good enough for three hours. It's a signal that you weren't good enough to face off against the worst franchise in the sport. Let me give you some numbers on the Carolina Panthers right now. Last year, they were 2-15. This year, they're 1-7. That is 3-22, and and they've got Andy Dalton to thank for a third of that. They have had five head coaches in the last three seasons. Bryce Young, as a starter, is 2-17. He's thrown 13 touchdowns and 15 interceptions in his career. Last year, he was sacked 62 times to lead the NFL. This year, his QBR is 19.3. That is the worst in football. He has completed 60% of his throws for two touchdowns and five picks. He is absolutely, totally, and completely Lost. He is inept as an NFL quarterback. You can blame him. You can blame the franchise. You can blame all the head coaches he's had. You can blame offensive coordinators. You can blame the fan base. You can blame the ownership. I don't care. The results are the results. They're awful every single week. And it's not just Bryce Young. Trust me. On offense, their last four games, 10 points at Chicago, 20 points against the Falcons, 7 points against Washington, 14 points at Denver. That is 12.7 points per game. And that is bad. It's very, very bad. 12.7 is bad. It's even worse when you pair it with this defense, which right now is giving up 34 points per game. They're averaging allowing 34 and scoring 12.5. They're giving up more points per game, 5.6 more than second to last in the NFL. That's almost a touchdown. That's nearly six points. They are almost a touchdown worse on defense than the second worst in the league. They've given up the most rushing touchdowns and the most receiving touchdowns. That's impressive. Sometimes you can't stop the run, you give up a lot of run touchdowns. Sometimes you can't stop the pass, you give up a lot of passing touchdowns. They're the worst at both. Back to the offense. They're 30th in the NFL in third down conversions. They've only been in the red zone 19 times in eight games. That's a little over two times per game. They get into the red zone. Not to mention, their injury report looks worse than the Saints every week. This is a completely inept NFL franchise. And I know Derek Carr is a little bit gimpy. And I know that Marshawn Lattimore didn't practice today. And I know that Kool-Aid McKintree didn't practice today. And I know that Eric McCoy is not going to play. And Rashid Shaheed is out for the year. And Paulson Adebo is out for the year. I got all that. I don't care. There is absolutely no excuse to go to Carolina and lose. And if you do, and you just keep the status quo, and you maintain Mickey Loomis's ridiculous quote that suggested, well, good franchises look beyond the outcome. This outcome, you cannot look behind. 
No one can lose to the Panthers. Not even the Saints. It is absolutely a must win. You cannot recover from going to Charlotte, facing off against this dumpster fire, and losing. Absolutely not. I have been patient with the Saints. If critical, patient. And I just told you in the segment three about 25 minutes ago, like you look at what they did to start the season, and then you look at a couple of really tight losses at the gun, and then you look at them playing the Chiefs fairly close, and then Carr goes out and you couldn't recover because of injuries. There's no excuse this week. No excuse. No amount of penalties, turnover, like nothing you could do would mask the stench from losing to the Panthers. And if you do that, you've got to make changes. They're in a bad spot overall. I get it. Like, it's going to be difficult to dig yourself totally and completely out of it. But this game, I could argue, is the worst opponent you could have this week. Like, if you go out there with this team and you play Cleveland, they're bad. They're not this bad. You go out there this week and you play Atlanta, who's just better than you right now, and you lose. Well, that sucks, but I get it. This is, what's the worst, what's the opposite of the gold standard? I don't think there is one, but. I was looking for a color that would just absolutely exemplify the fact that you're just a disaster. Whatever it is, that's what Carolina is. And you just have to go there and win. I honestly don't even care if you win by a point, quite frankly. You win this thing 17-16, cars gimping around out there, you don't have any wide receivers, you're calling up guys from the practice squad to play secondary. Like, just, just make sure you get it by a point. But do not go up there on Sunday and lose this game. You know what? I, I, when you first said it, and I, I, thought, I thought you might, I was, very, like, I was very against it, thinking, how could you possibly say that a team that's 2-6 and six has a must-win game? But I just kind of looked around, and, and Atlanta's 5-3. and three. If they lose to the Cowboys... This week, they go they 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 go to New Orleans to play the Saints, who would be three and six as long as they don't lose to the Panthers. And then if they can manage to beat the Falcons at home, they're four and six, and the Falcons are five and five. They're one game off the Falcons. Like it's and, and you can do all that. No, and you, you can't. And, and, and I'm not going to sit here and say that we should try that the Saints need to try to make the playoffs. And they because the, the the reality is they're going to this this team. They're not quitting. They're not yeah. going to quit because because Dennis Allen's fighting for his job. Mickey Loomis might be fighting for his job. I don't know, yeah. but 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 either way, they're going to try to win win as many games as possible. And if that's the mindset they're going to have, then let's just go ahead and, and and try to figure out what they can do. I'm with you on all your points. None of them are wrong. None of them are wrong. I'm just sitting here saying you can't lose. The no, I, no, and, that's and what I'm saying. I agree with here, you now. This is one crystallization of the whole thing. If the Panthers beat the Saints, what is the Panthers' record? They would be two and two and seven. If the Panthers beat the Saints, what's the Saints' record? Two and seven. I rest my case. If you lose this game, not only have you lost to this absolute disaster of an organization that I just laid out on both sides of the football, you're also tied with them. That is absolutely unacceptable by any metric. You look beyond the results. You can't. It's, it, you cannot do it. So to me. It's a must win. And we'll break down, actually look at the actual game on tomorrow's show on a Friday and get ready for it. But I, I'm greasing the wheels here and going, okay, just, just so you know, like that's what's coming on Monday if you can't get this done. Yeah. And, I, and I'm, I'm also telling you that I'm okay with 17, 16 Saints. Just whatever it takes. Just don't lose this game. Yeah. I, tr truth be told, you ought to beat them 28, 13. Oh, you yeah, should. definitely. I mean, I just told you they give up 34 a game and they score 13 a game. Like, that's what the, the Panthers do. The yeah. chat's going crazy. They're like, are you kidding me? Spin the narrative. This is actually hilarious. Like, look, we've already said. What narrative? Th there no, is no narrative here. There's no here. narrative here. We're, I, look, I, I, I said it in my point. I don't think the Saints should try to try to win as many games as they can. They should just probably lose the rest and try to get a good draft pick, but they're not going to do that. No, they're not. Like, we all know what the Saints are going to do. They're going to try to win every single game that they can. 
because Dennis Allen's fighting for his job. Mickey Loomis doesn't want to look bad. And the Saints just aren't – that's not their mindset. They are not. They don't have the mindset of the Panthers. The Panthers, they don't care. They could care less. David Tepper's going to fire the coach again the after Chicago this year. Chicago White Sox. The, yeah, eh, the, whatever. whatever. They don't care. The, the Saints do. They have too much pride. They're not going to go out there and, and put Spencer Atler out there or Derek Carr when he's hurt and, and, just, try, and just try to lose as many games. They're going to try to win. So that's all there is to it. You better win. Just – just what I'm saying. Hey, it's on. Thanks for watching Hunt on Saints. Before you leave, help us out a little bit. Hit that like button. Leave your comments in the section below. And hit that subscribe button so you get all our content right here from Hunt on Saints. We'll see you next time.